welcome back to N Plus One channel. This is Carl, and this is Let's Play Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin for the PlayStation 3. And we're on episode 8. Now, I'm really excited, actually. I didn't get a chance to do videos for about a day. So, well, I mean, I don't like, like, you know, oh, a day. Well, whatever, right? This is, this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to make a, you know, well, trying to make a difference, trying to make a bit of a living off of this. So, for me, this is like skipping out on work or something. You know, so, man, I don't want to do that. I like to show up for work. I like to actually do things. And, in fact, I think that's why I like to say, let's do the thing. Because I like to do the thing. What is the thing? The thing is anything, right? Right, you know, look at look at the word any and the word thing, and we have anything. So we are going to do anything we can in Dark Souls 2, and it's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna talk to her. Bear. Oh yes, bear, 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 seek, seek, seek. Okay, level up. Well, actually, do I have one? I don't think I have one. Yeah, okay. But I do need to burn some sublime bone dust or whatever. Okay, cool. So what do we need? We need to increase our equip load. Oh yes, we do. All right, so it looks it looks like it's tied directly to vitality. All right. Level, 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 level. All right, cool. Now that that took uh man, that took a lot. Gee whiz. Gee whizical the musical. All right, so I do kind of want to be uh, I do kind of want to be a Dex character. Uh, I don't need more vigor. Um, and I'm not too worried about some of these other stats, but right there, that does increase my my strength and my, uh, it does stuff. You can read the numbers. I got like, what, I got 16 points of health out of that. That's cool. We're so level 53. What? Like, this is a level I think that you should be at towards the end of the game. It's just, oh, I'm so unfair, right? I'm, I'm just destroying the workflow of this game. Um, that's all right, though. So what do we have? Soul of a nameless soldier, but soul of a proud knight. Man, I wonder how much that gives us. 2,000. <sighs> yep. All right. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll consume the uh, two soul of a nameless soldiers. We're going to have an upgrade party. I like it. I like it a lot. Seek and so... You know, of course, I'm just increasing my soul memory to the point where, like, you know, the people I'll be fighting against have gone through the whole game. They'll have all this crazy gear. And I'll be like, oh, man, why are they killing me so easily? And it's, well, because, silly. You, you are so silly. All right. Um, because you're, you're, you're overleveled, but you're under-equipped. Darn. I don't want to be under-equipped. I do want to have more strength, and I do want to have more dexterity. My, my, my intelligence is pretty high. Yeah, that sounds that sounds so like narcissistic. Oh, well, man, you know, my intelligence is really, really high. But but no, I mean like um like for real though, my int in this game is very, very high actually. So all right. Now that dexterity bonus is a little bit bigger. And I think, but I don't remember. So maybe this is a good time to talk about like the weapon scaling system and why it's awesome. So, just because you have a really good sword doesn't mean you can use it well. You can swing it. You can swing it poorly. Um, it also doesn't mean that... Oh, I'm still at 52% for uh, equip burden. Shoot. I mean, I can decrease that a little bit here, but... I, I want... Well, what do I want? I want... Every restoration. I don't think it actually does what I think it does. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch to the Ring of Blades. Now, it's interesting, actually. The Ring of Blades was a great item, like, in the very first version of the game. So I actually had this uh, day one. All right, Dark Souls, the original, meant a lot to me um, and, and just did a lot for me in general. So we're going to talk to her in a second. Um... And they found a lot of items that were, you know, maybe overpowered, right? They did this with uh, with Dark Souls, the original. They did it with Demon Souls, where, you know, of course, you haven't seen it yet, but a good chunk of the game is actually the player versus player action. And we're going to hopefully get a chance to see that. I haven't gotten invaded yet. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping someone would try to kill me. I mean, you can see my skills or whatever, you know, unless they just have, like, some crazy amount of skill that I, I've never seen. 
Um, but what, what do I want to look? I want to show you this real fast. Okay, so in equipment, uh, all weapons have like um, like stats. Uh, let's see here. Switch. Switch. Well, they have. I don't remember how to see it. Oh yeah, it's this way. No, it's not. Shoot. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Scaling. All right. Look at the bottom left. I can't. You know, I can't like point to it anyway. But basically. Like, all the way down to the bottom, you see, like, 7 and D and whatever, right? So the guy with the fist palm, fist uh, arm, uh, what's, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? He's, like, you know, he's, like, showing off his guns, okay? That's strength. The hand is, uh, is dexterity. And those are what these weapons scale with. Uh, there's some other things, too, that they scale with, right? Like, um, like, uh, well, uh, well, I'll explain that in a little bit, but so... When it's red, it means I don't meet that stat, right? I don't have 20 strength, so I can't actually equip that weapon, that hammer. Uh, but I do have 14 dexterity, so if I had 20 strength, I could do that. The letters, then, are like how much that weapon scales with that stat. So, uh, like a scaling of D is, is you know, it's, it's not a lot. A scaling of A, though, means that every point you pump into that stat, it actually does, like, that much more damage. Um... And so, like, like that's good. That little mail breaker there, that's got C scaling. Um, and this hand axe, you know, this hand axe would probably do a lot for me. And it's interesting. Why does my uh, why does my sword seem to do so little? I think that I've neglected something very important, and that is the fact that equipment breaks and degrades over time. Oops. So let's go visit the blacksmith, actually. Huh. Yeah, I'm sorry I had you. So let's go ahead and repair. Really? Really? Now that's strange to me because it, it, it totally should be doing more damage in my measure. All right, Titanite shards. So I don't happen to have any uh, equipment that I'm absolutely in love with to the point where I want to start upgrading it. If I hit a point in the game where I'm like, you know, I'm struggling because I'm taking too much damage or something, then then yeah, I I may do that. Well, let's see here. How's it going? I'm glad. I would like to see. Take a look at your wares. What do you have? 95 for that shield. All right, yeah, like a great shield here. It takes 20 strength. I don't have 20 strength. I'm not going to have it anytime soon. Uh, do I have anything that's going to look nice on her, though? This is falconer armor would look really nice on her. And it's not very expensive. Elite knight helm. Falconer helm. That's what, uh, yeah. I would like one. <laughs> like, I'm going to buy it in quantity. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, so, you know, the falconer armor is going to look a little bit nicer than this. Uh, it'll actually increase my equip burden again. So, like an idiot. But, you know, it doesn't matter, actually. Oh, man. Yeah, it really doesn't matter at this point, because I'm, like, still above the 50%, so I get to look cool. I think I look really cool like this. Uh, let's see here. Check me out. Oh. Man, look at the look at the fierce determination in her eyes. She is going to do the thing. So, we got that. And we need we need we need uh those little gem things, right? Because uh man, we used all of those on the uh three sentinels there. The lost sentinel? Oh, you know, it's three sentinels though. And it's a good thing we never see them again in the game. All right, so no, no, no. That the yeah, merchant set so useless. Oh, I don't see any benefit to it. Human effigy, soul gems, or not soul? Ha, soul gems. What's a soul gem? That sounds really familiar. Like I should know what a soul gem is because it's happened in a game recently. Yeah, you're welcome. That didn't sound creepy at all. Cool. So. We could go back to the Lost Bastille, but that's so fun. I want to go ahead and I want to travel, and I want to go back to uh, Hyde's Tower Flame, right? We're just going to take this in whichever order we want to. So we're going to go back to the Tower of Flame. Because there is another area that we have yet to actually, like, quote, discover, right? We we don't know what's in uh, door number two, as it were. Right, so... Uh, Hyde or Hades Tower of Flame, however you want to pronounce it. I think uh, Vachi Vidya actually pronounced it like Hades or something. Or maybe he says Hyde. Somebody says Hades, though. 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. But in fa instead, what does matter is this place is gorgeous. No, okay, no. What really matters here is that we're not going to go that way. We can go that way, and we will go that way, but not yet. I'm looking for the way down. I never... Okay. Well, that's not the way down. This is the way down. And we're so much stronger now, too, than uh, we were the first time we went through here. So, like, you know, I don't even know, though, that I'm going to do that much more damage to these things. They just don't seem to take a lot of magic damage. Yeah! Ooh! You saw that? That hurt. That hurt a lot. You know, it's funny, every time I try to, like, verbally describe which way you should dodge, I get confused because, like, I think that I actually say the opposite of what I actually mean. Oh! What's up? Masterless Glencore! Wait, so, like, that's that's a dude guy. That's a guy from the from the game. Cool. Well, we already defeated the, uh... We already defeated the, the Dragon Rider. Clearly. So instead, we're gonna go this way, Masterless Glencore. We're gonna aggro these people, pull them, pull them in. It's so funny, you know, most people learned these terms like playing um, well, that World of Warcraft game, right, and that was popular. And I actually learned it from White Knight Chronicles, um, which, you know, you'll hear me talk about that sometimes. But I'll tell you what, you know, level five made some truly brilliant games and one of them was White Knight Chronicles, the other. <clears throat> the other truly brilliant game, by the way. Uh, our game series, actually, was a Dark Cloud series, uh, which was on the PlayStation 2, and had this really cool iterative uh, kind of random dungeons, and then had this side uh, mission, quest, whatever you want to call it, where what you would literally do is you would build a city. Like, you would find items in these dungeons, and you would, like, rebuild a city. And that was really cool. All right, we got more of these jerks. You know what? I'm just going to pull him from over here. Uh, you know, something that I've always found interesting, too, is that the architecture of Hades Tower looks surprisingly like the architecture of Anor Londo and Lordran. But, well, now, you know, we've been told that this is Drang Lake. Um... There's some other interesting correlations. And, like, it's been explored, but I feel like it's been also, you know, like, decided by the community that these connections aren't real connections, right? Like, like they, they're there, yeah. But, um, that they don't mean maybe what, what it almost seems to heavy-handedly, obviously, try and point out that it should mean. Um, yeah, beware of boss, pick up item. Oh, we got a divine blessing. Divine blessings are great. I want a divine blessing. This game is a divine blessing. Well, you know, that's going a little far. But, you know, this game is great. Yeah, let me not let me not blaspheme here. And instead, just appreciate the fact that it is fun. It's a blast. All right, so that's where we want to go. But look at the drawbridge. Okay, the drawbridge is closed. And interestingly enough, I'm actually not seeing any summon signs. I must be... I must... Well, I'm not seeing any... Hu that's right. I'm doing the I'm doing the dumb thing. All right, Glencore. Yeah, I swear he's got more health too than he started off with. All right, I only have 21 soul arrows though. This is this is not super ideal. I'm waiting for the noise. There we go. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna pull down that drawbridge. I like the idea of pulling down that drawbridge. It's a really great idea. I'm gonna watch it. Boom, it lands on my head or something, right? That'd be cool. Except in in all the ways it'd be terrible. Alright. Man, I'm not even ready for the next generation yet. I, I think that this this game looks so good that I don't even think I'm prepared for like how good like this game is on